Hello everybody and welcome to Mongoose Gaming. So I hope you had a great Pokemon Go Fest 2022. We uploaded our Naya Lego raid guide video the other, uh, just yesterday. So today we're doing Mega Steelix. Now it is only up here for a couple more days, but I wanted to get it done, you know, just in case um, it'll help later down the road. Um, but for now, we have this going. Uh, the best, we're gonna use the correct counters the best we can. So if you guys have been liking the videos, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Also remember my Twitch link will be in the description. Uh, Groudon will be here this week, Wednesday, or two Wednesday raid hours, this Wednesday the 8th and the 15th, so make sure you tune in. In the meantime, I have Wicked Debo helping me out with his duo. Mega Steelix is very much going to be an easy duo. It is a ground and steel type, but the steel typing is going to carry the weakness of fire, and because of the uh, weaknesses to water, fire, ground, and uh, fighting, fire carries the, mo fire, fire carries the most uh, power. So... As far as counters go for sunny weather with fire types, you're gonna to want to do Mega Charizard is a given, no matter what. Uh, Shadow Moltres, Shadow Ho-Oh Plus with Sacred Fire, so the one you got from Research. Shadow Entei, Mega Charizard X. Uh, yeah, Mega Charizard X, if you don't have Mega Charizard Y, but just go with Y over X. Reshiram, Mega Hound, if you only have one Mega, Mega Charizard Y. Don't even bother with the other Megas. Reshiram, Shadow Charizard, Shadow Typhlosion, and Shadow Magmortar rounding out the top 10. As you can see, I have Mega Charizard, Shadow Moltres, two Restram, Shadow Charizard, and Arcanine, because again, there's four Megas, so I'm not going to have all four Megas. Switch to our Zero Party and get this going. This does have a double steel moveset from what I understand, so we're going to go ahead and be able to get this taken care of. And in we go. There we go. Let's see how well the Mega Charizards do before they actually faint out, because it is they are going to resist steel type, steel moves. So we'll see how we do. There we go. Now, Mega Steelix is a tank. Um, as far as using it as a counter, it's virtually useless. I know that sounds bad because Mega Steelix is really cool, but it's not viable in any situation where you use it. Now, if you're trying to boost ground type moves um, or steel type, and let's just say you have three people, have someone be the sacrificial person and bring in a Mega Steelix to boost your ground or steel type moves. At least it brings a Mega Boost. But. As far as using it for anything other than bringing in a boost, it's not worth it to have. It's a dex filler mega. Again, though, it does look pretty cool. I, I can't deny that. But here we go. So that's the damage Mega Charizard did. So, yeah. <laughs> so now we have our Moltresses, or at least I have my Moltres. We'll see what Debo's bringing out. There we go. Moltres is going to do okay. Now, Shadow Moltres does have weaker defense. All Shadows do, so this is going out a little bit quicker. But we're doing okay. And another overheat off. If Moltres, I think if Moltres had Flamethrower or another, or like a two bar fire move, it would outclass um, Mega Charizard. But we're not there yet. So so now we have our. I'm ha onto my Reshiram. There we go. Sweet. Like I said, this is a fairly easy duo. Now, I haven't duoed this particularly. I think. I have to go back and actually look at my YouTube videos. I don't think I've actually duoed this. Um, but I'll go back and look if I have. I'll post it in the description. As far as a mock solo, I think you might be able to mock solo if everything's level 50 as far as your counters. Uh, Jay the Legend, when you watch this, you'll be able to tell me if it has been or not. I'm not one for mock solos. I just like going straight solo or duo. But um, Jay, if you see this, you'll be able to tell me in the comments. I'll, I'll see it. There we go. Okay, got another restaurant on deck, so I don't actually think I'll get to the rest of my counters. I think I'm just gonna, I think restaurant, I think my second restaurant is going to finish this out. But in we go. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay with just this, uh, for this restaurant. So getting the counters, restaurant is rated as the sixth best counter. Mind you though, that's behind two Megas, Shadow Entei, and a Shadow Ho. -Oh. Now I. I purified my Shadow Ho -Oh with Sacrifier Plus, and so it's Sacrifier Plus Plus now. Um, so I made that mistake. If anybody tells you, oh, Plus Plus is better than the Plus, no, it's not. <laughs> Otherwise, Sacrifier Plus Plus would be rated higher. And what do we have here? We done? Yeah, we're done. Not bad. With 124 seconds left at Purple Dust. But yeah, that's pretty good. Um, again, the counters are Mega Charizard Y, Shadow Moltres, Shadow Ho -Oh, Shadow Entei, Reshiram. Shadow Charizard Typhlosion. I didn't mean not name off two uh, the Megas because Mega Charizard Y outclasses anything. 
All right, for uh, and just to get a fun look at our leaderboard, I got hard considered Debo with final strike. So that is it for Mega Steelix. Again, it is a fairly easy duo if you have the fire types. Heck, if you even have the ground types, it's gonna be just fine. But um, you do want to bring as far as weather, it's gonna be it's gonna be the fire types all the way. So hope this video helps. Remember, to please drop a like and subscribe if you do like the content. Until then, guys, I will see you on the next video. Take care.